Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to share with you this wonderful book by Neville Goddard. It's called At Your Command. And this was written in 1939. So you can imagine how old it is. And the author is one of the first authors to talk about manifestation and to talk about the power of your mind and the power of creation. And I really love it. It's just a tiny book. And what I will do in this video is to share with you um, three main ideas or concepts that I love about the book and that I apply on my business, on my life, that actually help me to move forward and to live in a more joyful way and acknowledge myself as a creator of my life. Uh, even when some days or some periods of my life are not looking the way I would like, uh, how to build this resilience and zoom out and always come back to my desire and keep going. So, yeah, so before jumping into the three concepts, I want to sh show you how, like, I literally made a lot of notes on this one. It's a tiny one, like, you can read it in pro probably one day, but I made lots, lots of notes. If you know me, you know that all my books are highlighted and I really study them. Because I see each book and each author as like as a mentor for me, and I really absorb their words. I take my time to read. I'm not like this. Oh, I want to read the most books uh, in this year or in this month. For me, it's more like how much you absorb. And also, I take the time to journal. Sometimes I journal on my books. I know this is super strange, but for me, it's been so useful. For example, here I was also journaling, and I write the the date of that day and I journal on the topics related to the book. So it's so beautiful also when I go back to my other books that I, I started journaling probably three years ago. It's so beautiful to see what I used to, what I used to, the way I used to think and the things I used to desire that today most of them I have and I am and it's just so beautiful. Or some of them were like, oh Ali, really? This was like an ego-based goal and you didn't reach it because it was just based on ego and not on your deepest soul calling. So let's go back to this book, beautiful book. It was a little bit controversial, by the way, because uh, what Goddard talks about is also of acknowledging us like humans as gods. So we are gods and we are also capable of creating our own lives. And um, also he talks about letting some parts of us die and that makes it controversial. Uh, so some parts of us can resurrect, come back to life, give birth to new parts of us. This is an analogy. And if you are religious, if and if this doesn't resonate with you, really feel free to um, find your own words. So let's go to the first concept I, that I love, is to acknowledge yourself as a creator. You are also the creator. And the creator means that you can always give birth to projects. You can be the channel of giving birth to creations, to businesses, to a new version of yourself. Um, so this is so beautiful. And the way I see it is every time that I have an idea, this idea is just out there and I visualize it. But then consciously and intentionally, I bring it into this 3D world by pulling it with my energy, with my actions, everything with aligned action. And I give birth to those ideas. And that's my commitment. For example, creating this video is a way of how I'm giving birth to an idea. And anyone can do it too, but you need to put the focus on that. And you need to acknowledge the power that you have to create it. The second concept that I love is um, to zoom out. So no, this is so beautiful because when in your present reality, in your immediate, in the immediate moment, you might not be seeing the exact results you want or the, the future that you want, you need to zoom out. And it's obvious that if you still don't have it, it's because it's in a future, but from today, you can start building that to take the steps into this future version of yourself. There will always be a gap. There will always be a buffer between today and your desires, and that keeps us moving. So don't see it as something like, oh, it's so far from me, I'm so anxious. It's like, that keeps us moving. That's your driver. 
But in this case, what he says is like, we can zoom out. So instead of being like, you know, horses in our present that, oh, I only have this today, we need to take some time. And this can be done through meditation. You zoom out and then you start seeing more possibilities. Okay, so when you feel like a little bit trapped in your present moment, as if you would only have one option, you can take your time, give yourself some minutes to zoom out and to really meditate on that or walk or whichever type of meditation you have. Take it, take it um, far from you, far from you and just ask for guidance. Like, what are my possibilities? Please show me all the possibilities I have right now. Show me more opportunities. Okay, so this is super, super beautiful too, zooming out. And um, the third concept that I love and that I use it is to let parts of you that are old, that, that, that are obsolete, let them go. And I know this is really challenging, but you can start doing it intentionally. All the old beliefs, the old stories you used to tell to yourself, let them go. And the most important, don't strengthen those. So I will give you an example of this one. If my old self, let's say my old Ali, I used to tell that I am really bad at recording videos because I used to be really bad. <laughs> now I'm recording in one go. I can't believe, I can't believe really. But the Ali of, I don't know, three, four years ago, I wouldn't believe this. And if, imagine if today I would still tell that story to myself. Oh, I am super bad at talking to the camera. I'm bad at communicating. I'm bad at connecting with people online. Then I will strengthen it. And then that story and that neuronal pathway you have in your brain, just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So in this case, what you could do is to stop that thinking pattern on time. When you catch it, stop it and just say, you can say it in the past. You can say, I used to be shy, but today I found an authentic communication way. Or I used to have um, a bad partner, or I used to chose uh, not so wisely, but today I'm really wise at, at choosing my relationships. I used to be shy at selling, but today I found a wonderful, authentic way of doing business on my unique style. You see how it changes. And with this, this is through repetition, through, only through repetition, because imagine how many years of our lives we repeated the old stories. So now we really need to start creating the new ones. And in order to create the new ones and strengthen the new ones, we just need to do it through repetition. That's the only way, okay? And in this is when um, Godard talks about stop or letting some old parts of us go and intentionally create new parts of us, a new story or a new identity to resurrect. He literally uses those words to resurrect, okay? So those are the three main concepts I love from this book. I will repeat them and then I will read one of the paragraphs that is my favorite. So first, acknowledge yourself as a creator of your life, as a channel of giving birth to new ideas, projects, businesses. And it's even your responsibility to make them happen. Only you can do it. The second is to zoom out when you feel a little bit trapped into your present moment or into a specific situation. Ask for guidance, zoom out, and ask for new possibilities to your higher self or to your wiser self. And then the third one is to let all versions of you go and build a new identity, upgraded identity. I love this one. Then I will read you uh, this beautiful. So it says, if you are dissatisfied with your present expression in life, the only way to change it is to take your attention away from that which seems so real to you and rise in consciousness to that which you desire to be. You cannot serve two masters. Therefore, to take your attention from one state of consciousness and place it upon another is to die one and to live the other. So pretty much if you have 
a new identity, a new version of you, and you strengthen it, the old one will start will start fading out. So this is beautiful. I hope this was inspiring or useful. I hope you can take some learnings from this beautiful book. It's also worth buying. Uh, make your note, journal on that, write down your desires. And if you need to be guided into a beautiful visualization of how you want to see this new upgraded version of yourself, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions to guide you into a beautiful journey to see yourself of the future in six or 12 months. And this is super beautiful. It's guided, it's customized, and at the end you will get the audio so you keep on practicing at home until you actually embody that future self. Thank you for watching and see you next time.